Hi guys, in the next chapter for the Dialogflow CX tutorial, right, we are going to start with the web, uh, webhook, right, and we are going to divide webhook into few sections like for the how to call the webhook and then we will see how to call the parameters, how to use the parameters, how to uh, make an API call and then maybe how to pass the rich UI or generate the rich UI or the message from the webhook, right. Uh, before moving on, uh, if you are watching this content, do consider to subscribe the channel. 92% of the viewers who are watching are not subscribing. And if you are coming from the Google, don't forget to give a super thanks if you really like this video and it's uh, useful for you. And obviously, uh, like and subscribe to the video if you find it useful. Okay. Okay. So quickly, we will move to the part uh, for the webhook, right? So this is the code that we have over here. Uh, we will not going to do anything extra, right? So what I'm going to use is Node.js, right? Uh, and I already created this uh, code, uh, which is kind of a express uh, using the express. And these are the libraries that we have to, uh, or the NPMs you can say, uh, Node.js NPM we have to install from the uh, Google side so that it can understand the request and response, okay? So basically, I will explain the code over here. What we are doing is we are installing the uh, NPMs. Okay, Express is required just to create the uh, APIs, right? Uh, which is uh, going to accept the response and uh, request and response, right? From the Google side. Okay. Uh, this line of the code tells that okay, uh, from the dialog flow, we will always going to trigger the webhook. Okay. And then there is a tag part, which I will show in the Dialogflow CX side also. And this is how we can send the message back to the response uh, to the Dialogflow CX, right? So this is the kind of a JSON body that we have. And this is the message we are saying that, okay, there is no tag found, okay? So I will explain the tag uh, before going over there, okay? And it's going to run on the port number 8080, okay? Now what I will do is I will run this code and just start the server okay so uh, don't worry this code is available in the github and github link is given in the description section okay so node webhook.js it will start in port number 8080 okay now to make it accessible to uh, dialog flow right uh, what we have is something called uh, uh, ng rock right so let me get the ng rock okay so we will go we have already installed the ng rock and uh, so ng rock, no, not this ng rock. This ng rock, we are running HTTP and port number 8080. So once we do that, right, what is doing is is making your local uh, IP accessible to public, and this can be accessed via this URL. Okay. So what we will do is first we will enable the webhook. Okay. So if you go to the manage setting, uh, manage under that uh, webhook, so we'll create a new webhook. We will give a name, uh, local one, something like that. Any name you can give. You can increase the timeout if uh, your functionality is taking time or something like that and give the URL over here, okay, that URL we have created. Now in that, uh, we will append the part which we have given the name over here. So we have given the name as webhook. So it will be like that and we are not using any authentication or anything right and not neither the certification for now so we'll just click save over here okay so now how to use it right so what i will do is we have uh, this sales right uh, which is coming giving you response this one right so what we'll do is we will also uh, give this response or some response from webhook right so what i will do is enable the webhook and over here i will select the one which i already created local one right and tag so this is the tag i was talking about over here right so if you have any tag uh, the tag which we get right and according to that particular functionality you can use so rather than creating different webhook every time uh, you can use the tags to call the same webhook and perform different functionalities okay so what I will do is I will name it something like what was the name of this page? Uh, sales, right? So I will name it sales uh, tag, something like that. Okay. And uh, then what I will do is keep it like that. 
and go over here and we will give the name as sales tag right now and what we will do is just give a simple response back okay so i will just copy this uh, json tag that i already have right and i will paste over here and uh, i will give the text written back as something uh, this is response coming from webhook for sales tag okay so this is done uh, what i will do is restart the server because we made the changes okay now what i will do is i will quickly test it out did i click save yeah okay so now i will do hi and uh, what is the page how to trigger rss sales okay so you see that uh, we are getting two response now so you have reached the sales department so this is the hard coded value that we had over there i think yeah over here and this is a response we are getting from the webhook side now so if i go over here you can also do the debugging uh, what exactly the request body that you're getting and in that you get many other things like the parameters which we'll be covering in the next chapter or next uh, video right uh, so over here you can see that what exactly the request that uh, your webhook is getting over here it's saying the uh, particular response id so every you request and response has a different id that information is there so which intent got triggered so it will give you the intent name display name as sales okay what is the confidence so confidence is 100 one means 100 if it is in point then it will be uh, like a point four five. like then it is a 45 percent confidence right which page we are currently so current page name is main menu okay and in the session do we have any values or anything so right now we have not stored any parameters but uh, we can leverage that so let's say the tag is sales tag which is coming to you right now already this text is present right and uh, language is this uh, which has been used and similarly if you want to print the response you can do that but uh, yeah so this is how we can call the webhook how we configure the webhook now in the next step we will see how to leverage the parameters which comes and accordingly change the states okay hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day